Hey guys, I'm Captain Zeus. This is assessment examination. I think this is a Mandela catalog-like game, and I'm interested. I've played one or two of those before in the past. If you haven't checked out those videos, you'll definitely want to. But let's uh, let's take a look and see what this one's all about. I'm totally not scared or anything. The examination will now begin. Hello. Friend, thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at are very happy to have you, if you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real-life scenario. Okay. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Okay. So, it was all a dream one day. No, I'm kidding. It was probably the newspapers. Do I have any professional experience in this area? No, 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 no. I, I have no job experience. Do I have any personal experience in this area? No, 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 no. I have no personal experience in anything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think at the end of the day, everybody does in some way, shape, or form. It's just like a human instinct, not like a spiritual one. So I'm going to say yes. No, why, why should you? That's a very interesting question. Do people? Do you have people you love in your life? I mean, it really depends on how deep of love we're talking about. I mean, in a general sense, probably. Maybe. We'll say yes. Do you fear losing them? I mean, my options are yes, because, you know, love is so strong. No, because life is but a speck in the wind. Or AEDA14, because, you know, numbers and letters. I'm going to probably go with no. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or okay. threats you should stay away from. Fair. Please be careful with your selections. Okay. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Makes sense. You know, I don't know what it is about his eyes, but it's looking like he's got some kind of like star under there or some really bad. I don't know. He looks sleazy too. I'm, I'm going to say threat. Oh. Definitely not trusting some swirly durly dude. I don't know, what's up with this glow around here? You know, she could be she she could be a Terminator. She could be a freaking Terminator. I'm gonna say threat. Whoa. This dude. Looks like he's from the CIA. And we don't trust the government. Who? 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 Who that? Who, who that? I don't know what that actually says. Okay. Um, just some kids. What is this? This does not look like a trustworthy person. That was a clickable? This guy looks baked out of his freaking mind. Yeah, let's try some. I, I trust pot hunts. Oh, that. That is creepy beyond measure. No. Hex to the no. This guy seems cool. I, I mean, he's got a little Siggy in his mouth. I trust him. He seems like a nice, cool dude. 
You know, I don't know what it is about this guy's hair, but he seems pretty trustworthy. He kind of reminds me of the question from DC. Um, so we're obviously going to treat him as a threat. I don't... I don't speak Russian. What is this? Uh, diazepam, five milligram tablet. Take five tablets by mouth nightly. This is a ch keep out of children's ears? I don't know what that word is. Expiration date, 1600. I don't think that's a thing. Okay. I'm on drugs. This, this guy seems so trustworthy. You know, he, he reminds me of some guy that's like, hey, I'm working at a corner store. That's it. Trust. Dude, she looks like she kills people. Like, she, she looks like she has issues. I'm, I'm not trusting a single thing about her. She seems cool. I mean, yeah, she seems she seems totally cool. I don't know what's up with this eye area here that's kind of bothering me, but it could just be the image, you know? We're totally trusting that. Oh, look at that smile. Look at that deviously attack on Titan looking smile. We're totally trusting it. Police department, what's your emergency? Francisco Estrada, 19, victim two. Wait, what happened to victim one? Yeah, hi, I'm at Dory Park at a gas station. Actually, I'm in a corner of Dory Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know, he looks fine. It's just, he's outside and the door is locked, so I can't tell. He is asking for help, though, so I don't know if you can hear, but he's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Interesting. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sakes. But this is gonna sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face. His face, you know? He had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. This guy's got repressed memories or something? I can relate. Ah, I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid. Like, real off. You're going to let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He's, he's not dying, I don't think. He just didn't look right, is all. Kid looked like he just died himself. But he hasn't, obviously. He looks like a ghost, or a demon. It's hard to explain. You haven't just have up right now. I've been drinking a little bit, but you had to see him. It's scary, officer. Officer? He must be pale because of blood... Because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight. And not because he drank one too many cheap beers. What is going on with this image? Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's... I, I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It's freaking creepy. Hmm. Okay. Well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and the kid cannot be doing well. Oh, there's people here! I didn't notice the, the image changed like that. So I need you to go and assist him. Oh, screw that. No freaking way. No, you didn't see that little guy. He's not normal. You know refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? It... Is that what this is? Of course. Okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. All right. Avaria Santissima. Is that the kid he saw? Because if that's the kid he saw, that guy is dead. He is a threat. Oh, is this the kid he saw? Definite threat. Now oh, the kid looks cool. I'll trust him. That's not like I got that answer wrong. 
Hi. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on Mar She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open, and when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today, uh. and at other times I like being with grandmother so much. Okay. She called out, good morning, but received no answer, so she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. There lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face, okay. and looking very strange. Is that, Is that a UFO? UFO? Grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my what child, riding on? was the reply. That, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. She said, all the better to see you with, my dear. That, Grandmother, what large hands you have. All the better to hug you with. Oh. But, Grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. Avram, you have failed me? Who's Avram? I can't escape imprisonment. I'm surrounded by nothing but lies. Am I Avram? In sand? What? It's suffering. That looks, looks like, like a, a face. face. I can't... I can hear him laughing in my... Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. What? Congratulations. If you are accepted into... You will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. Gotta write that down. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. What? What? I'm sorry, can we go back to the fact that if the letter comes in before that specific time and date, I should pray? Is that it? That was the whole examination? Okay, well, that was assessment examination. I have no idea what that was about or why that happened, but yeah. Thanks for watching, I guess. What happens next? What are you waving?